everyone, as you know, tomorrow it's September the 14th, so it's time for the big Mark Boland convention, extravaganza, pilgrimage, to Golders Green in London. Oh, not that myself, because I moved. But before, I don't know if you watched the video, they moved on their own, they dropped off, and, you know, they're quite sturdy on there. And um, I wasn't knocking it or anything, so I don't know how they fell off. But there you go. Anyway, coincidentally, I want to speak about the sort of spiritual side of Mark Bowler. Um, over the years, I've collected a lot of newspaper cuttings. You know, every time I used to see... Um, an article about Mark Boland or Mickey Finn because I really love Mickey Finn you know Mickey Finn had a bit of a downward spiral very well documented you now it happens to a lot of rock stars and I thought to myself well this one I do want to read out um, glam rock Mark still raving from the grave because I thought it was appropriate you know being the death of the biggest glam rock star that ever lived, one and only Mark Boland, you know, being his anniversary. So I thought I would sort of read this one out as a vlog, but the others I've decided to do as a blog. So they will be on my Tumblr, which you can get the link on YouTube. At the moment I've been doing a few about James Dean, because he's another one of my idols, and I'm sort of doing a project at the moment. I'm going to California in America, um, James Dean has got a big following as you know, they have um, something called a James Dean sort of festival, um, you know a bit like we have for Mark Bolan, anyway I don't want to keep going on and on about it, <laughs> so let's just get into it and I'm going to read this newspaper cutting, as I said I've got lots of newspaper cuttings here. Now this one is from a magazine called Eva. I'm not sure of the date. I've had it quite a while. I mean, the magazine itself doesn't even exist anymore. So it must be quite old. And it's, as I said, it's called Glam Rock Mark, still raving from the grave. And it's got a few pictures there of um, Gloria Jones with Harry, Mark's brother, and also Roland. Mark Boland's son. Okay then. Mark Boland likes to make a stir, even though he's been dead for 20 years. Oh, 20 years. So he's been dead now for 36 years. Now I can work this out. 20 years, um, hang on a minute, 16 years ago would have been, oh, I can't, I'm not very good at maths, but there you go. This was 20 years He's been dead for 20 years here, and he's now been dead for 30 So he's 16 years old. That's how old this newspaper got to me. So work it out. Okay then, then let me know. <laughs> right. Pop sensation, Mark Boland died 20 years ago this year, but he still makes regular appearances to his heartbroken family. The T-Rex singer was killed in a car crash in 1977, but his spirit regularly visits his brother Harry and his mum and dad. The night after Mark died, mum and dad were lying in bed when their bedroom door opened at 1am, says Harry, 52 at the time of this, who's a bus driver. This happened a lot over the next four years and mum used to say that it was just Mark keeping an eye on them. When I moved to Portsmouth, I put six pictures of Mark on the wall just inside the front door. My parents came to visit and the moment they stepped through the door, all six of the pictures fell to the floor. That's spooky because those pictures I've got there, Mark Bomb just fell to the floor. I tell you, Friday the 13th as well. My dad turned to me and said, he's followed us in here too. I wonder if Mark Bomb's followed me. And Harry reckons that his little brothers made his presence felt through other spooky happenings, including a beam of sunlight breaking through a grey overcast sky when a plaque was unveiled at the house where he was born. I think a lot of you have probably been there to Hackney. There's a big plaque where Mark Bond used to live. An enormous slap of thunder at the exact moment that 
His girlfriend, Gloria Jones, and their son, Roland, looked at the spot where Mark's ashes were buried. Newspaper clippings about him mysteriously disappeared from the house, even though there had been no visitors. Mark's life was cut tragically short when a car driven by Gloria slammed into a tree in London. Strangely, the 70s pop legend owned several other cars that had been involved in smashes but he'd never been in them at the time. Many of Mark's friends and family think the 30 year old had a premonition of an early death. When a chat so when chat show host, sorry, it's my accent. When chat show host Russell Harty asked him if he ever wondered what he'd be doing in his 50s or his 60s, he said that he didn't think he'd live that long, says Harry. I don't think he really wanted to die young, but as his song said, he was a 20th century boy and he always will be now. And that was by Harry, Mark Boland's brother, and then um, also as a lot of you already know, Mark Bolin himself couldn't drive. So it was very ironic, you know, for him to die in a car crash. And I also read somewhere that he told his manager he always, if he was going to die, he'd like to die in a car crash, just like his hero James Dean. As I mentioned, James Dean before was also killed in a car accident. Um, very tragic, you know, to when a high profile star is killed in such unfortunate, unexpected circumstances. It has a big impact on media and culture, you know. So that's my little sort of vlog on the spiritual side of Mark Bowler. You know, I myself had a brother who was killed in an RTA many years ago. It was 18, 19, not two, so it's going back 21 years. You know, and it is very unexpected and you never forget about it think about it every day um, you know car accidents happen every day of the week you know it's one of those things it's such you know fate took its hand and took Mark Bowling and a lot of other people James Dean my brother um, there you go <laughs> so thanks for watching me Susie Q Ramon official and I'll see everybody at Golders Green Hopefully, well, I'll be there somewhere roaming around like a little fairy flittering about the place. And I know it's going to be very emotional as it is for a lot of Mark Boland fans. And I am very excited slash nervous. <laughs> okay then, so ciao for now.